Okay, here we are just looking at the test stand. This is set up with no mats in it. What we got going on, so we got four equal slots, equal size, equal heights. But before that, we have a plenum chamber that we pump into that equalizes the flow so the water flows up all equally and flows out those four equal slots. So, and all the pitches are the same. So this way we've got one pump driving into that plenum chamber, all four flows are equal. There was a mention on one of the maps that it wasn't flowing the same in the last video. And it's just how the mats disturb the surface of the water that makes it look that way. So here we go. And of course then we have our collection chambers for collecting our gold. And those guys there then spill over a weir so there's no back pressure back into the bucket. So I just wanted to kind of show these guys my test stand and how I set it up. I wanted to make everything equal. So the only difference was the mats. So that was the only condition. And so there's kind of a quick peek at the test stand and how we set it up just so people know what's going on. Okay, so we got our equal four vials of ounce each gold. Put it in our bucket. Lid on it. We'll know that there is, they're all the same, but you know how people are. You know, they always got to make that one little comment. Well, how do we know? Well, now we know. Anyways, easy cheese. Randy's going to dump those in there for me. So we can get a little gold in each one. <laughs> you can get gold floating on the water. So of the what we put in here. So there's no soap in the water. So you know we do got a little floatage, but People are asking me, you know, what size gold you got in there? And you can see the gold floating on the water around the edges. All right. So there it is. Gold's in their vials. Now we're ready to race. So we got the pumps on high. Now we'll go ahead and we'll dump the gold into over the mats. And then he's going to squirt out the gold with the water bottle because it kind of sticks in the vial. Or you would say the... So you see we started with Dream Map first, so we have more, the Dream Map's been in the, has the gold in it the longest. Squirt that out of there, because it sticks because of the water, of course. That gold that's up in the top of there. So it looks like we got all the gold out, and it looks like we got all the gold off the top of the ramps. And now we're looking at the gold as it goes through the system. And one of the things I wanted to do is see how the gold kind of hangs on the top of the mats. I'm going to take this little brush just not to show you how little current. But this test is really easy. We're going to take the brush and we're just going to brush across the top there. Just across the top. Just to get that gold. That is um, uh, right there at the top off. Not going to need the cells. Just so everybody's got most gold off the top. So here we got the green mat in the mini mat pattern. So here we got the regular dream mat. And here we got the Devon pattern in France. And here we got the gold digger pattern from France. So we're gonna let this run for a little bit just to give it time to do its thing to make sure that it can 
flip out all the gold that it can flip out and all the other gold is settled and just see where she comes in. Randy, you unplug her, see what she says. So here we go. So we're gonna come over here to the dream app. And we're gonna look in it and we're gonna go down the cells. Okay. Here we go to the traditional dream app, which started it all. We're going to go down the cells. We're going to go Dev and Matt. We're going to go down the cells. Then we're going to go to the gold digger, Matt. Okay. So here we are seeing gold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rows down. We're seeing gold, which actually is, you know, a little bit more than a third of the way down, not quite half. So well, this guy here, we see gold. Actually, let's look at the very bottoms. Let's zoom in. Let's just take a look at what's going on. You know, for the small pieces of gold that are in here, the tiny, oh, look at that. Do you see it? Poor, poor, tiny speck in the bottom of Dream Map. So anyways, so we got a speck down there. There's a couple little specks in the cells. It's just really what it is, you know. Don't try and make it something it isn't. It's just a test to give us a good snapshot of what's going on in these mats. So physics kind of let us know how this heavy material is moving through here. And a lot of people want to argue, say, well, there isn't regular material in there, so it really isn't a good test. You know, a test is a test. You know, we're going to run some uh, pay dirt through all these systems. In the spring and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna take a look at what she lost and what she kept and we'll do the test with dirt in it and it should be there should be a direct correlation is the amount of capture rate so that's what's going on in there the bottom of the regular dream mat like you can see you see the size of the gold that's in here And actually, some mats do better with material in them as opposed to um, uh, doing worse. Some mats do worse with material in them because of the way they overburden and don't do the active exchange. So, in the bottom... So the mats that have least active exchange, which means they don't have a good uh, inlet coming in with the, the flow to an outlet and allow good active exchange, will actually burden down more. And that will cause material to skip over the top of the overburdening. So by now, you know, everybody knows because there's this nice little unicorn there that some people have noticed is that this mat was designed specifically to France to replace this mat. And for whatever reason, I'm not going to go into the politics of it, but they chose not to. And so this mat here, 
which is basically a custom mat. That's his logo. Um, JL, Julian, that's his logo. So his mat has his logo in it, actually. And this mat was supposed to be, have a riffle, a drop. So it's supposed to have a drop, have a, a drop riffle, but in the shape of his logo, and a vortex in it. So it had all three. And so this one just has a vortex. Well, somewhat could argue this vortex. Um, this this profile drop riffle here and this drop riffle, and that's it. So we basically got two drop riffles. And this here has got the, the hydrocyclone profile, so does this. But this has got uh, a drop, like a... a, a uh, and a vortex and a drop riffle, but just a different shape. So, and you can see how it did. So, and this one stays really active. Um, so it has great exchange with heavies. So there's the there's the boom. When you drop it for the mat comparison, the test that we ran live Facebook Live had very bad feed. And you couldn't see what was going on. Everything was pixelated. So that's why we chose to redo this for you guys and record it. And we'll put it on YouTube. And there's the test. Make your own decisions. All right, guys. And we're going to put some coins in here now and do the coin thing. And then we also got some tungsten shot. So we're going to see how these mats react to um, different uh, size gold. And what mats have kind of what you would call uh, hidden uh, attributes to them where they do a good job catching uh, gold certain size or there's certain size golds that the attribute is like the Achilles heel where it basically is the, it, it, you don't see it because it actually has a, a weak spot in it. So we're going to see which mats do a best better job catching all the flat coins and which mats do a better job catching all the round tungsten shot. All right. There we go. Now we got the coin toss. So this would be these 25 gold coins in each run. And we are going to see what map profile catches flat gold as opposed to flips it out. Okay, Mr. Matt Dumper Extraordinaire. Or go ahead, give her the dump. We'll go ahead and we'll... Last couple out the fingies. All right. So there we go. We'll let it run for a little bit. See what happens. So we got some mad coins up there. Got some coins there. Got some coins here. We got some coins everywhere. All right. That's long enough, Randy. Go ahead and unplug it. All right. Okay. So, Dream Mat. Dream Mat. Dream Mat. Dream Mat. Flat round gold. First three rows. The original Dream Mat. Dream Mat. Dream Mat. Dream Mat. Oh, we got one in the fourth. The third row. Well, it's big. They're bigger rows. Devin, we got one at the bottom. Then we have this long space. Oops, sorry, my camera's off to the side. Then we got first three drop riffles. But we have this other problem. Oh, we got a three coins at the edge, and we got. Even doozy, doozy, three, two, one, two, three, four coins in the bottom. Then we got the gold digger. We got two in the bottom. There's some there, some there. Any in the vial? Nope. Any in the vial? Nope. Any in the vial? Nope. Any in the vial for Devin? Yeah. No. Four full coins in there. All right, so there it is, guys. So 
you can't help but to see how even when it's got all this space and it's not even overburdened and it doesn't have rocks filling up the voids trying to exchange that if all the space is available and it was running as optimum, we have a system that flips out the flat big gold. And the reason it does in physics, if I was to explain it, which I'm not trying to beat up on anything, is you can see it's got more flat surface area almost than it does area for catching stuff. And everything else is down below. So this mat actually is the mat that's going to overburden the, the fastest because it's going to fill up, plane out, and it's just physics. Um, here in this guy, I didn't clean my mat out good enough, did I? Look at it, I left some gold in it. What a shame on me. This guy here um, has all the profiles higher and then indentions lower. This one does too. This one flipped out some, which I was surprised always. But um, uh, it'd be interesting to see what's going to happen when we do this test with material in the spring. If it does better or worse. I think it's going to be a correlation. So anyways, there's a test of the mats with the coin toss. Next, we're going to run rubber duckies over the mat to see whose mat catches the most rubber duckies since we've done the coin toss. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're going to do duck shot. We're going to put in our pound of um, uh, tungsten shot. So our quarter pound in each and run it and see what happens. All right. All right. Here we are with our tungsten shot. Remember, tungsten weighs the same as gold. We got a quarter pound of tungsten <laughs> in each one. And we're going to see which mat rolls off the BBs the best. All right, Randy, give her the tip -a -roo. And they all go out and they're all running down. All right. So here we go. Guess what? We got a mat that's got some BBs in the vial. I ain't going to show you until right at the moment, but we're all going to have to guess on which mat that is. Which mat's going to hold the BBs the best. So it's just another test to see. Now, if I had a mat that failed all three of these tests, I would consider that mat to actually be the less likely to be able to collect gold in the field. Now, if I had a mat that performed very high in all three of these tests, I would be thinking that that mat probably has the best odds for catching the gold. Go ahead, turn it off, Randy. Those, those round spherical BBs have low surface tension. They're not going that far. So here we are. Oh, let's look at the bottom. Bottom row. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. We got a BB in the third row. How many BBs we got in the third row? No. Actually, we got a BB down here. Two of them down here in the fourth, fifth row. One, two, three, four, five. Nothing in the fourth row. It is what it is, folks. You know, just that's what it is. And here in the regular dream app, we have some BBs in the third row. Oh, we got one in the fourth row. There it is, guys. Here in the Devon mat, we got a BB. Down here towards the bottom. Oh, we had a couple. We have actually have a couple down here. Um, it's hard to see with this light. But then we got some BBs there. We got some BBs here. We got some BBs there. So there it is. Then we got the Julian mat, and it outperformed the Devon mat. Didn't have BBs down at the bottom. Did pretty good with the round material. The the Julia mat did really good. Now who's got BBs down below in the vial? Well, it's not the Julia mat, but there's the two from the Devon mat. None in the regular Dream mat, and none in the my mini mat pattern. Oh, and it's got a BB down there on the shelf. You see it in the corner there. So drop three BBs. So that's the deal. So there's just a little physics for you. Remember, these are tungsten shot. They weigh the same as gold. Um, off by a few decimeters in the in the periodic case. You know, still both of them are 19 grams per centimeter, 19 something something. 
So heavy stuff. Um, that's what's going to happen in your sluice. So there's some tests. Now we got better resolution. I'll put this on a YouTube. Kick it out there. It is what it is. We love racing. And there's your racing results. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed this and learned something from it. And we're going to continue to race. The spring is actually going to be a great race. This spring, we are going to race almost all these plus some other ones in a pay dirt challenge. I got like three bags of pay dirt. And then we're going to put some, actually a couple shot indicators into pay dirt. And we're going to put a couple coins in with the pay dirt. And then we're going to run it in some fine gold I'm going to get with some of this pay dirt. And we're going to run these bags of pay dirt. And we're going to run through a six inch. And we're going to run that same bag of pay dirt through each sluice. And we'll draw straws to see which one goes first. And then the order they go will be picked out by drawing straws. And then we will run all those. And we'll see. Actually, I think there's going to be over 20 mats. 20 different systems and whose system will catch gold the best. And they're all going to be at the same slope. They're all going to be at the same angle. They're not going to be running this. We're going to run them something else. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to between there and then figure out a way to put the material in there consistently so that the material feed is consistent with everything. So we just have to come up with a little idea like a little auger um, or some sort of way of vibrating sheave on a pan that's got a point to it, like a, a pointed funnel, kind of like what these guys are, and get the material to come off at a steady rate. So the material is fed at a steady rate, comes out, and it can be controlled. We'll get that dialed in so it'll be repeatable. So basically someone can say, well, you scooped it heavier in this one than in that one. So we'll have the same angle, same flow, and then we'll have the same dirt. And then we will basically run them and we'll see and solve a lot of what people say. Well, if it had dirt in it, it would act different. We'll see. We'll see who's going to be the winner. All right. You guys have a great evening. Glad you took time to hang out and watch this and learn something. And remember, when you're in the creek and you're normally just used to getting flower gold and you're going after that fine gold with these fine gold recovery mats, and what happens And you get that once in a lifetime picker? You know, what happens when you get that once-in-a-lifetime picker? Are you going to get this out the back? Is that going to be your once-in-a-lifetime picker from your crick? Let's do that again. Yep, is that thing going to flop down into that exit channel, or are you going to have a mat that's going to catch it up towards the front? So there's your choice, you know. Um, and I think this thing spells it out pretty good, so... I think for and for the money, this is cheaper than uh, every other mat in here. So for your money, this is it right here. Um, so, anyways, let's look at your you know your value you're getting. So, anyways, guys, it's just something to think about when you're out there in the field. And this also is the only mat. Well, these two money back guarantee. If you don't love it, return it. Tell us to. Put it where the sun don't shine. These guys here ain't getting your money back on these. All right, guys. It's just so you know. All right. Have fun.